okay uh, this is also a theoretical only uh, it may used in some uh, compilers and uh, some rejects uh, regular expression scenarios only uh, mm -hmm. so usually uh, the sentence will automatically follow some order right uh, let's yes. say this as an example the model training time will increase like the, it will mm -hmm. automatically uh, form a tree like uh, structure uh, mostly in compiler languages means uh, they will be using some symbols in order to get a flow so for that uh, for that it is a uh, reference by uh, syntactic analysis but at this time it is not that much useful for us uh, next one is semantic analysis mm -hmm. So syntax means uh, you can uh, get it as a word, uh, a particular word, but uh, semantic mm -hmm. means uh, the meaning of the word. So each yes. word has uh, different meanings, right? Even for a single word, you may have uh, multiple uh, meanings. Can you just write uh, by both of these what it was? Yeah. yeah. Just uh, yeah, the similarity and yeah, just so it's a few. This will be context of word. Mm. So for this, an example is, it is a book, book a ticket. Yeah. So book is a, both words are same actually, Yeah. but it has a different meanings. Mm. So that is a semantic analysis. So if you consider for uh, machine learning means it won't understand the semantics and all. Because uh, based on this previous words itself, we can able to understand, okay, this is a actual book. But here book is as a verb. So maybe you can get some context by using this uh, parts of speech. Still, uh, it won't be much useful uh, when you are going for uh, machine learning. So that is the drawback for uh, machine learning modules. Even you, if you go for sentiment analysis or uh, some other things means, it will usually uh, don't give as much accuracy compared to the deep learning modules. Yeah, no, I, I do understand. So how do you know those things? <laughs> how do you know when, uh, is it just uh, to have the understanding that, uh, oh yeah, this word can have two separate meanings? Uh, that's um, why um, mostly for a simple classification task like uh, positive and negative uh, sentiments, they'll just consider mm -hmm. each uh, each words only in a sentence. Mm, yeah. Even they will just uh, remove all these things. Yeah. It'll be uh, in the input you will be having good and actor. So if good is in the positive side means they will automatically uh, justify as a positive sentiment. Sentiment. Mm -hmm. Let's have another uh, scenario. Mm -hmm. He is not a good actor. Yep. So this is a negative one, right? Yes. But uh, the machines won't uh, understand because it, yeah, exactly. it's seen a good, mm. that is a positive word, but it won't consider this not. So and, that's and why. The, yeah, the, the, the good and bad are preset. It's not that it's a search word. It's preset by the module, correct? No, no. So it's uh, for that, you, you will be training the model. So that's mm -hmm. why we are building the whole uh, NLP model. Mm -hmm. So what okay. we are, uh, what we'll be doing is uh, maybe after uh, covering this basics, maybe yeah. after like two to three topics, uh, I'll, I can go with the flow uh, for a model creation yeah. and theoretical part. Yeah. Yeah. Next one is sentiment analysis. Uh, just a quick question before we continue. How do you, uh, maybe you will get it. Let me know if you will get into this, but how um, would you avoid going down the wrong line, right? In as the, the scenario we just discussed, um, mm -hmm. one could potentially create the wrong model by doing this good and bad stuff, mm -hmm. right? Or uh, uh, how, is there any ways to detect that before you actually start to build the model? Um, if I consider uh, 
NLP part only. Uh, mm-hmm. If you want a better model, uh, that is the that is your end goal. Even if you don't, uh, if you don't mind spending so much time, means uh, people usually go for a deep learning model itself on the first yes. uh, on the first try itself. And the because, deep learning model is uh, can it can be both self learning and uh, instructed, correct? Yeah, it will automatically learn based on the input and output uh, you are giving. Yeah, and it can able to understand the context and the meaning of the sentence mm. more compared to the machine learning models. Mm. So uh, people just go for this uh, simple machine learning models. They don't want to spend so much time uh, because usually deep learning models will take so much time while training. You need to have high computation power, and you you need to have a large amount of data. So, uh, so what are people doing? They are building a model instead. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, it depends on the scenario only. So if you want, if you have less computation and if you have less amount of data, like 10,000 samples means, they will just go for uh, machine learning because that can able to provide some decent results with uh, less amount of time with less yeah, power. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, I'm following you. Yeah. yeah. That's why it is difficult. People usually like, uh, even if you consider uh, uh, recent uh, release like uh, GPT-3, GPT-2, like that. Mm. Uh, that is like an open source library. Uh, yes. They will train. They will be training a large amount of data, like the whole uh, internet data. Billions of text will be there. They will be uh-huh. using multiple uh, GPUs and TPUs. Uh, run it uh, over months. But uh, what's the minimum requirement for a deep learning project in LP? I've heard, uh, is it 50,000 or is it 500,000? <laughs> or am I totally off? Uh, records. Records, a uh, number of samples? Yeah, yeah or like just sentences then, to put it out like that. Okay, for uh, deep learning, I usually say higher the number of samples, higher the accuracy. Yeah, Even uh, if you don't would... consider the model, uh, so, one part based on the data itself, uh, you will be getting uh, more accuracy if you have more amount of data. But, but yeah, but when does it become a deep learning task? When when do you have so much data you you shouldn't use machine learning anymore? You should apply deep learning. You'll be getting a reasonable number of uh, data. Like uh, let's consider like uh, 50k samples. Yes. Uh, that can be a barrier if you have yeah. more amount of data. I mean, so you can uh, obviously go for. Uh, deep learning because if you train deep learning model with less amount of data means it will actually produce a so worse result compared to machine learning right i understand exactly but um uh, when you say sample is it mm-hmm. a document with um uh, words or is it a sentence Okay, samples will be, be like this. Let's consider this as input and output. Mm-hmm. So this will be one, you will be having some sentence. Yeah. Sentence one and will be output. Mm. So each sentence will be a sample. Okay, okay. So the sentence can be a paragraph too. Uh, it depends, yeah. but each line will be a record. So based on the samples or records only, we'll be uh, deciding which uh, approach we need to take. This is a sentiment analysis task. This is Mm. a classification problem. Mm. Yeah, for the sentiment analysis, it is like a popular uh, project uh, in NLP. So what you will be doing is, you need to find the sentiment of that particular sentence. It can be positive, it can be neutral, it can be negative. You can also change it as a rating, like one to five. Each one is a classification output. So these things, you can uh, use it for Twitter data, Mm -hmm. product reviews, movie data, like uh, movie reviews. Yeah. So like this, uh, you can able to get some contacts from the customer basis, able to get a review. Uh, if you consider the movie means, based on the comments itself, you can able to get a positive or a negative reviews. So 
all the data will be subjected to, to the model and the model will able to classify, okay, this review is a positive review and this one is a negative review. And this doesn't have uh, that much, so it is neutral. So like that, it can you able said, to- uh, You said one to, if you have numbers as well, didn't you say that? Which one? A classification. Uh, that can be a rating. So this is one kind of output. Mm -hmm. uh, if you say a product review, um, mm -hmm. based on this, we can uh, able to get some uh, ratings from mm -hmm. one to five. Yeah. So each number is a classification. So based on the review, if uh, one is being bad and mm. five is being uh, great and three is being uh, neutral. Yeah. So it depends. Uh, yeah, based on the output, you may be able to change the input accordingly. Sure, okay.